Hey, welcome to another exciting tutorial with Mike at Blue Roots Media and Marketing. And so what we're going to learn to do today is change and remove a background with our quick select tool up here. So what we want to first do is we want to go ahead and go to open, find the image that we want to change. Right now I'm going to do this little girl right here. And find your background. I'm just going to go ahead and select this background here. And then go ahead and resize it to the size of your picture. Um, obviously, you want to make sure that whatever you pick here is not going to be pixelated um, when you stretch it out or whatever. This was a kind of a high res, so it works for me. And then what we're going to go do is we're going to come down here. Let me slide this over just a little bit. Come down here, and you got your original background. You're not going to be able to edit or do anything with that because it's locked. So just go ahead and duplicate it. Um, this will come up. Name it whatever you want click OK there you go and delete the original background you can press the delete button or you can even drag it down there um, and then move it up to the top make it the first layer you see so then we got our quick select tool and you just start at the bottom here and you just follow it all the way across now when you get to this point it's the halfway point so just go ahead and just bring it over again if not Photoshop has a tendency of going ahead and um, take it out and going too far in there and that will just drive you crazy because you got to start all over again obviously so there's two steps you can go here you can go ahead and inverse this which will select the middle person right here this little girl right here and delete and then you got your background or you can go ahead and bring you know go back with your history and go ahead and inverse it again and when you press delete delete and so here we are we have her she's in the picture etc etc um, even if you go in here take it off this layer you can tell hey look she's there so then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna deselect because we can't edit this image and so this image here it looks it looks pretty cool you know but they're still up around the edges we got some issues and so uh, if this was me I would not be giving it to my client like this um, and so what we would do is is go in here and there's the eraser tool and you can go ahead and zoom in if you want to really get into detail and the cool thing about CS6 is now that we got this little background here, this gray background, which makes editing a whole lot easier. And so take your eraser tool and just kind of like pick the softest setting, whatever works for you. Here's soft, soft with pressure. I pick that. You can do the harness, the hardest the way you want. I really don't play with this that much. I just kind of go with it. And then you just take the edges and you just kind of like feel your way around. And you don't want to like erase but what you want to do is you want to soften soften everything kind of like that you know kind of like just soften it to where you know it's not gone but you can't really tell and what that does is if you can tell it, it kind of like makes the hair almost real like and it doesn't look like we like she was actually shot there and so you can take this and then you just I kind of start at the furthest edge that I can get and just kind of slowly just move my mouse down as smooth as I can um, and without having to deselect my edges so much because when you go ahead and you do that it can kind of get a little bit choppy again and then you're you know so you just kind of follow this around you know give it a little haircut take out the hair as much as you want like right there you know, kind of like you might have to go back up and then you just kind of like follow it across and then you know and so then we got this here and you know you're just kind of like just following the edges you're not um, you're not really cutting you know this is this is not cool so I want to Go ahead, I'm going to get a little bit closer in there. Um, obviously, you want to pick similar colors, but you can go ahead and go in Photoshop and change the layer of this top layer and kind of change it to match. Like right here, I don't like that so much, so I'm just going to go ahead and 
take this off. I made a little bit mistake there. Um, Mr. Tool, um, you know, right here. And so, right here, you might want to select the hardening, but maybe not. You know, I think that kind of worked. So then you just go ahead and you zoom out. And it kind of looks like she belongs there. You can take your blur tool and just kind of go in there and just kind of blur a little bit more of the edges out so that she fits a little bit more. Um, you know. Now, the cool thing about doing this is that, say we don't want that background, now we can take and stick her on a website and she can kind of be the spokesperson or we can go ahead and we can take this background right here and, you know, stretch it out like we did before and bring that up bam put her on top of it and then there you go and then you, you just kind of play a little bit more you know kind of take and blur that out some more um, you know up here you can kind of tell we need to take the eraser tool again and kind of like follow it across Oh, too much. Follow it down a little bit more. And kind of blend her in. Because, you know, that was more of a black kind of side. And this is kind of, this is still kind of black. And so, you kind of take and you work it. You know? Um, you can also go in and there's many options. You can take this top layer and you can go in and do adjustments. Take your um, exposure and kind of bring that up make her a little bit brighter to go with the image kind of like just like that right there um, mess with the offsetting and so then that was a little bit too much contrasting and then basically I mean I can't really tell so I hope that helps make sure to check out our website www blue-rootsmarketing.com or on Facebook facebook.com slash blue roots mm and if you like this share and go ahead and like hope you enjoy the video